I'll be going through the custom functions of the Leica S2's menu system to give you quick access to commonly used features. The Leica S2's custom function menu allows for several of the buttons on the camera to be set to frequently accessed menu functions without going into the camera's menu itself. To access the Leica S2's custom function menu, go to the Setup Quadrant, lower right button. Clicking until you reach the third page. On the top, you'll find the Custom Functions menu. Click the score wheel, and you'll see you can change four of the buttons on the camera. Upper left, lower left, lower right, and the stop down button to the lower left of the lens on the front of the camera, normally reserves at the depth of field preview button. To change any of the Leica S2's custom functions, scroll to the one you want to select, click the scroll wheel, and you'll find you can select a wide variety of menu settings for quick and easy access. I'll show you what we use here at Dale Photo and Digital as our favorite custom function settings. You'll notice, as I scroll through the various custom functions, a red box appears corresponding to the button that I'm about to change the function of. This is a really quick and easy way to know which button will be set to what feature. For the top button, we like to set it to ISO, since this is a frequently changed setting. For our lower left button, we'll select Exposure Compensation. Our lower right button will select Drive Mode, giving us quick access to Single, Continuous, and the various self-timers. The Stop Down button we set to our favorite feature, Key Lock, so that when shooting in the field, we can quickly lock or unlock the keys based on whether we're shooting or we're reviewing images. Once you've selected the four custom functions that you want to have quick and easy access to, it's really easy to actually access these functions. A quick half press of the shutter brings us to shooting mode. To access any of the custom functions, simply press and hold the corresponding button for about a second, and the custom function will appear. Using the scroll wheel, navigate to that setting that you want, click in, and you're good to go. Half press the shutter, and you're ready to shoot. Corresponding to the other buttons, you'll see Exposure Compensation. Remember, make your selection using the scroll wheel and click in to activate that selection. Half press to start shooting. Again, press and hold will bring us to our drive mode that we've set here. Remember, in Self Timer, the mirror will lock up at the beginning of the self timer, basically adding mirror lockup to every self timer shot. Once you've made the selection that you want, click the scroll wheel, half press the shutter, and you're ready to shoot. For your front button, again, normally reserves as reserved for depth of field preview, you don't need to press and hold the button. Simply press down once, you'll see our key lock feature comes up. Make your selection, click the scroll wheel, half press the shutter, and you're ready to shoot. These are the custom functions on the Leica S2.